everyone, this is Doxy Mom, and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't done so already, I greatly appreciate if you hit that little red subscribe button. You can ring the bell for notifications, and if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. Well, Miss Peanut and I, we're here to bring you the news in 15 minutes or less, so let's get started. Now, one of my wonderful subscribers, T. Buchanan, asked my take on Ukraine and what Rudy Giuliani has been able to dig up. Well, Rudy went on Laura Ingram's show, and Rudy started out by saying that there was substantial corruption in Ukraine that went on for years. Rudy has uncovered two major schemes, one for $7.5 billion and the other for $5 billion in money laundering that went on all through the Obama administration. And part of it, yes, involved Joe Biden. Now, Rudy admits that he forced Maria Yovanovitch out because she's corrupt. She turned down visas of people who were going to come to America and give evidence about Biden and or the Democrat Party. Now, one of the people that she turned down was Victor Shokan, you know, the prosecutor that Joe Biden had fired because he was looking into his son, Hunter, and Burisma. You know, and Burisma was paying uh, Hunter Biden, the $83,000 a month. Now, Rudy says that Marie should have been fired and would have been if the deep state wasn't a part, if the State Department wasn't a part of the deep state. He also said that four different people told him that Marie was specifically holding up visas in order to obstruct the investigation of collusion in the Ukraine and to obstruct the Biden investigation. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, he gave this evidence to the State Department, and they never looked at it. And remember, guys, the State Department's one of those 17 major scandals that will be exposed. I did a video on that several months ago, if you want to go back and try to find it. Now, Rudy, he also talked to Ukrainian officials that said during the Obama era, the corruption in Ukraine became substantially worse, and Marie, well, she was contributing to that corruption. Then Rudy says that the former President Poroshenko, well, right now he's under investigation for taking $100 million in bribes. Mm -mm -mm. Now, Marie and Biden, they were very close, buddy-buddy with Poroshenko, so I think we all kind of know what that means. Then, Laura Ingram, she comes in and says, well, it's beyond obvious that Ukraine wanted Hillary to win. Well, we all, all knew that, but... When President Trump asked the new president of Ukraine to look into corruption, it's very obvious there was a ton of corruption going on. So, when Poroshenko was president and both President Trump and President Zelensky wanted to clean it up, well, of course, the evil Dems want to impeach our wonderful president because of this, which is ludicrous. Anyway, Rudy goes on to say that Joe Biden was involved in a multi-million dollar corrupt scheme along with a number of other Democrats, not named yet, but I'm sure that will be exposed soon. Anyway, it's never been resolved. They've never been held to account. And guys, I have a feeling this will be exposed and people will be held accountable. Just keep remembering, there are close to 140,000 federally sealed indictments. Now, Rudy also says that the aid money that the U.S. gave Ukraine in 2017, around $5.3 billion, seems to have been wasted. Hmm. Guys, Rudy has all the proof, and I'll leave a link. Well... It looks like Christopher Ray, head of the FBI, is not a good guy, according to 17. Now, uh, post number 3701 is entitled, Is FBI Chris Christopher is FBI Director Christopher Ray part of the swamp like former DNI Dan Coates? Well, 17 goes on to say that the swamp runs deep and 
sleepers are everywhere. So I kind of hated to hear this just for President Trump's sake that Ray's bad. But you know what? I wasn't surprised. So don't trust Ray. Even though we were told to trust Ray in the past, but we all know disinformation is necessary. We also know that God tells us that we will know people by their fruit. And Ray, well, he has not been on our president's side. And hopefully, President Trump will soon replace Christopher Ray. Then post 3714 was entitled, uh, Flynn FISA was illegal and manipulated by the FBI. So, <clears throat> guys, we know this. General Flynn, he's a true patriot, and just keep him in your prayers, but don't worry about him. He's going to be just fine. Now, Lisa Page, this is what she tweeted out. Going on the Rachel Maddow show tonight, it's time to talk about the release of my text messages. The two years of lies shouted across the media about me and what it's like when the President of the United States tries to ruin your life. Now, guys, she is being slammed on Twitter. And I found a tweet replying, uh, Layla at Layla Alicia 11. She replied to Lisa Page with this. Sure, Lisa Page, go to MSNBC, the network that lied to its victims for two years with Russia. We read your text, Lisa. Facts don't lie. But you... You Democrats, y'all don't, you don't care about the facts, do you? You are not the victim. The president is the victim after you and your lover tried to stop him. And then on the bottom of the tweet, she had a graphic of all the deep state players, including Hillary and Obama, with coup d'etat written across the front of it. So, Layla, she just summed it up pretty correctly, didn't she? Now, remember, guys, justice isn't pretty. And Post 3715 says that Lisa Page should prepare for jail. So, let's just pray that Lisa will repent and find Jesus. Then 17, post number 3716 that says that the unsealing of the first indictment will trigger mass population awakening. Guys, and this is what we need. Then, the first arrest will verify action and confirm direction. Now, 17 says they will fight, but you are ready. And guys, he's right. We've been preparing for this for over two years now. So, if your family members, your friends, your neighbors, if they seem lost when all this comes out and they just don't understand it, just be kind to them help them out, you know, share my channel and other channels with them to help them to come to terms with the truth because the truth will set us all free. Well, today on Wednesday, uh, this morning, just to hear a little bit ago on ABC, CBS, and NBC on live television, the crooked MSM were still trying to spin why the House should vote yes for impeachment the only good thing about the coverage was on all three stations. They each interviewed Mark Meadows, that great patriot from, in, uh, from North Carolina. And he did a great job at letting the American people know how unfair this whole process has been. And uh, when the interviewers, when they tried to run over him, well, Mark just stood his ground and told the truth. But the Democrats, they're truly trying to destroy our country. Now, thank you, Jesus, that you, Jesus is on the throne. He is not going to let that happen, y'all. And President Trump, you know, he's going to be impeached by the House, but not by the Senate. And eventually, these Democrats who've been fighting him tooth and nail, well, they will go to prison. So, here we are, fighting in this war, but knowing that we're going to win this war. And it's just going to take some time, guys. Patience is a virtue. This is not going to happen tomorrow, so just be patient. Now, Ryan Fournier tweeted out, Breaking, Mitch McConnell just said that the Senate will dismiss impeachment after opening arguments. Take that, Dems, in tweet. 
Now, guys, this is what needs to happen, okay? I know some of you want a bunch of testimony happening in the Senate, but we need to shut it down because these impeachment hearings need to be shut down ASAP. The Democrats, they want to keep dragging this all out all the way out to the vote in 2020 to have it fresh on people's minds when they go in to vote. Now, it needs to stop, and these evil people that we want to see exposed, they will be exposed. There are indictments for most of the corrupt government officials right now. These people will go down. So, in today's vote, the House will vote to impeach President Trump and then it'll go to the Senate, and the Senate should shut it down ASAP so the country can get back to work because the Senate, they can't do any other work while this trial is going on. Now, there are rumors that Nancy Pelosi may try to hang on to this and not send it to the Senate just yet under the guise that she doesn't want to lose control over this, but yeah, this is just a stalling technique, guys, and we've got to pray that that doesn't happen. Now, Let's, let's end on some good news, guys. Ivanka Trump, she tweeted out, All of POTUS's priorities have made it into the final National Defense Authorization Act. Pay raise for our troops, rebuilding our military, paid parental leave, border security, and Space Force. President Trump will proudly sign this historic defense legislation this week. So isn't that wonderful news? And I want to leave you with Proverbs 28.5. Evil men do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand it completely. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please feel free to share my content. And Merry Christmas, everybody. Until next time, this is Doxy Mom, and God bless you all.